Now, finally this evening, the JSE showed strength on Friday morning, aligning with mostly positive global markets as investors reacted to developments in China and U.S. earning reports. China's central bank announced measures to support the stock market through share buybacks, leading to a surge in Shanghai. Additionally, strong U.S. economic data boosted market confidence. Furthermore, locally, the South African rand also strengthened trading earlier at 17 rand and 60 cents against the dollar, 0.4% from the previous close ahead of next week's domestic inflation report that may influence the central bank's rate decision. Portfolio manager Cabello Tiller provides the market wrap for the week. Positive week uh, comes to a close here on the, on the local markets. We saw the All Share Index uh, adding 0.7% at the close on this Friday, sort of carrying on from, from what was really a positive week uh, across the board. The industrials were, were nicely up today, up 0.7%. The uh, uh, financials and mining companies were also uh, close to that 0.8% positive uh, at the close this Friday. Uh, the currency has been on the, on the back foot ever so slightly, currently trading at 1760. That's given back a little bit as uh, we've seen strength coming out of the dollar um, fast approaching the US elections. I think investors are uh, taking some caution and moving out of the emerging markets and into, into hard currency US dollars. Um, other sectors have done pretty well. We've got some mining companies that have outperformed this particular uh, week we've seen the gold price uh, trading at new highs at one thousand at two thousand seven hundred and twelve uh, the last I checked silver is also nicely up also trading uh, fairly elevated thirty two dollars and fifth and fifteen cents over there oil is uh, muted at this point which is always a good thing for us hovering around that seventy four dollars a barrel so next week is quite important as we uh, get clues on the um, inflation numbers out of South Africa, and that will give us clues as to where the uh, South African Reserve Bank is going to go in this particular session.